not the worst. Will this windshield just come out? Oh my god, dude! Oh. That's what's left of this grill. What? Oh, dude. Yeah. For that guy. Dude, don't. We might need to find another car. <laughs> hey guys, what's up? Welcome back to the channel. Uh, today's the day. We're gonna start blowing this car apart, getting everything taken off as much as we can. Uh, and then I uh, have a plan to have this thing actually dipped because uh, the rust is pretty significant where I'm not gonna just be able to clean this up with hand tools and stuff like that. So. Um, yeah, the whole plan is to get the whole car blown apart, and then once it's blown apart, um, I'll have the car eventually sent out to the dipper. I found one in Eugene, Oregon that they're going to do it, and uh, it'll be squeaky clean. So, first thing we're going to do, though, is we're going to jack the car up, get it on jack stands, and then I'm going to take off this Texas license plate, because uh, as cool as that is, uh, I don't want it on the car anymore. So we're going to take this off, I'll mount it on the wall somewhere, and then... Uh, we're gonna take wheels and tires off. We're gonna take uh, the fenders off, get all the wiring out of here, uh, bumper off. We're gonna take this grill out of here. Um, try to get the windshield out uh, if we can. She's one breeze away from falling out, so. Yeah, <laughs> like a buddy of mine was like, hey, you can do it in your garage. I, I just don't know how badly you wanna like destroy the weather stripping. I'm like, bro, <laughs> there's yeah. no weather stripping left. So, yeah, so. Get the windshield out, uh, again, everything on the interior. And once the windshield's out, then we can get the dashboard out of it. But yeah, we're gonna take the deck lid off. Let's just get to it. No one talk about it, just get to it. Just get to it? Just get to okay. it. Okay. Freaking get to it, <laughs> so. But anyway, the guy behind the camera, this is uh, Samson Andrew. Uh, he's got a YouTube channel, go ahead and check that out. I went over to his house uh, not too long ago and did a video where we checked out some of his cars. It doesn't feel like that long ago, but it's been I know. it's been a minute. It's been a minute. We've had this thing for two uh, minutes. Yeah. <laughs> Less than two minutes. It's nice to see it in all its glory. Yeah, it's pretty cool, huh? Minus or well, whatever's left of the car. It's pretty see cool. Right through a lot of it. <laughs> but anyway, all right, let's get the car jacked up and then uh we'll get this license plate off. Okay, so car is on, jack stands. Step number one, remove the license plate. <laughs> Be the one thing left over the car to remind you <laughs> where she came from. Yeah, minty. Don't straighten it out. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> Don't straighten it out. Put it on the wall, all yeah. haggard. <laughs> yeah, this car came from Texas. I like the Texas plates. They're cool. Yeah. All right, toolbox time. Wonder Start how, ripping her apart. Wonder how original this plate is. I mean, like this paint's like flaking off of it like crazy. She ain't brand new. I'll give it that. No. She's been around the block. <laughs> Oh, nice. Mm, yeah. Those are reusable. Give them to your neighbor. <laughs> Give them to my neighbor. <laughs> yeah, this whole AC contraption is kind of crazy. Like, what did this cable go to? Like, what was this? What was this cable operator? Like, I don't know much about like the old school like AC systems. Just... See, they're your ah vacuum for something up under the front or windshield washer spray yeah well that's yeah that's what this is because yeah the windshield washer motor uh it's actually not a motor it's a little uh foot pump really yeah this thing actually has a windshield washer motor it's like a little button you push on the dash and that was like high society back then but my 70 dart that i had in high school actually i'll show you little high school meme you're my dart <laughs> so that nerd that car and this thing all both have like a little uh uh, the push little foot pedal for, or not pedal, but like a little rubber button for the windshield washer. It's kind of, kind of cool, but. That's like that uh, thing that looks like a choke kind of a deal. Cause that 66 had one too, but it wasn't hooked up to nothing. It, it should just be like a little, it's like a little rubber. Like I don't, I don't, even, I don't even know if it's still there. Oh yeah, no, that's exactly, yep, that's what I thought. Well, let me get the light and show you. That's funny. So that's yeah, on the floor. that little, uh, rubber doodad right there that is the windshield washer fluid sprayer button <laughs> learn something new every day so got the 
I've got the grill stuff all disassembled, but there's one little screw under here that's holding this on, which is keeping the grill in place. And uh, that's kind of sucks, but this, yeah, this is broken on this side. Uh, I'm gonna try to get this bumper off first, but the grill was kind of being like a kind of pain in the ass to get the to get these bolts off because you know the freaking grill's in the way. So um, yeah, I'll get that bolt off. Maybe maybe now that the grill is like loose, I can I can get in there with a with a socket and try to take them off. But yeah, so we'll get the we'll get the grill out. He's working on everything, everything, all that junk. <laughs> I catalog this real quick. Yeah, we're gonna catalog this into my uh, my filing cabinet over there. Yeah, otherwise known as your neighbor's house. <laughs> my neighbor's house. Yeah, but we're gonna leave everything on the cam member. Like obviously we'll take the uh, the steering column off, but we're gonna leave the power steering box on the cam member. We'll leave the uh, basically the whole suspension bolt of the cam member, and we'll just undo it from the body, and then at some point, maybe either today or another day drop this whole cam member down and out uh, with the uh, torsion bars as well and get that out of there because I do plan on doing some pretty rad stuff as far as suspension goes to this thing. I'm pretty excited, but I'm getting way too ahead of myself because the amount of rust this thing has. You gotta take the valuable part off and hide it. Yeah, so that's you know, the thing. It's like, man, I want, I, you hide it real good. That way, you know, when you die, the next owner doesn't have it. <laughs> <laughs> the next owner doesn't have it. Where is Dude, are you gonna test your luck on camera? Okay. Bust that? Get Let's, the Black and Decker in there. We're gonna get it one shot. Here we go. Oh, Ooh, yeah. Ooh, a little bit nervous. Speed. This one's the ugly Speed one. is key. Until you lose traction. Bam. <laughs> then it ends up being like that screw that's in the, you know, over there that we're not talking about anymore. Yeah, let's, we're not gonna. Talk Dude, about that, that thing was like one step away from going bye bye. I think that might have been. Ooh, hello. Yeah, no, she was, she was a little concoction bacon underneath the yeah. backside. I'm not sure what that other little square piece was that, that you know, you threw away. That just fell down there. So, yeah. oh, here it is. Yeah, I'm not really sure what this was for or why it's there, but uh, I'll certainly hang on to it. But yeah, here's the fender tag. What in the world? You need to get your hand back there. Where does that go? You got a, you got a wire going south. Oh, <laughs> Dude, at this point in the wiring, just, we're just gonna cut it off. Yeah. You probably resell it for eight bucks. <laughs> What's your neighbor's name? We'll just give it to him. Randy? Randy. Just, Randy, do you need 71 Challenger wiring for your 56 F100 over here? Hey, Randy. <laughs> wires? <laughs> right right. Yeah. 56 F100, that thing is like mint. So we just start tearing into it. And the good news is, structure, oh, dang it. What? Don't say anything's what good, because then you'll find a, you oh. know, a piece of rot. Damn it. I was like, the firewall is just mint. Dude, the firewall, I mean, for the most part, it looks like the firewall is mint. And then, look, look, I only think the reason why it's got damage here is because this is yeah. open water just pooled up down there. So <sighs> aside from just needing a little tiny patch there, the rest of the firewall is solid, dude. These, these older rigs are really expert at, you know, big old space to gather up rainwater and then just build a bucket right here yeah. with a couple drain holes that feed, you know, your tires but every once in a while your drain holes just fill up and then your car starts to die inside and you won't know for years until you go down to texas and buy them. <laughs> yeah. yeah right did somebody not drain the holes nope perfect Don't, don't break it. Gentle tickle. <laughs> Fight back every once in a while. Dude, what? Don't give up on her now, you almost got her. We also found out that this car has been hit pretty hard in the front. Uh, 
this core support's been, there was like a chunk that was cut off and another piece was welded on. Right here, yeah. So this came off of a gold car. The valance panel down there came off of a gold car. This came off a gold car, as you can see right here, and they just painted over it. So, and also like, yeah, right here in the, on the frame rail, like all that is welded. That's a huge fat booger weld. And then, uh, you know, it looks like, you know, they repaired it and they try to straighten the, the fender out. So I think the car at some point like got hit super hard in the front. And then this isn't the original fender. So this fender came off something else. Um, it actually came off of a, like a dark green metallic car. This fender is actually in pretty good shape. Yeah, no, it is. Uh, which is super nice, but yeah, it's like there's like still green from it's like a dark green metallic from the from some other car or whatever. So I think what happened was it got hit. They replaced this fender because there was nothing they could do. They straightened the frame rail, welded it, did whatever. They cut the core support right here and then pieced it together off of the gold car we'll, let's just say and then they yeah that's where they welded it here to the subframe yeah you can even see yeah. it down in here for yeah little support brackets you right. can see the gold tinge on it yeah so basically all this stuff even this part right here too was uh from the gold car yeah because that's where it bolts on and then you know damage ensued down here they popped everything out the best they could and they just caked it in bondo and then there's quarter panel damage, but I seem to think that the quarter panel is probably uh, separate damage from this. It's just coincidental on the passenger side because I don't see how it could damage there in the front here. Skip all of this and then just smash that way. So, <laughs> Let's say clipped a tree, spun a 180, clipped another tree, and somehow the front part of the quarter and the back part of the door, who knows? I mean, yeah, I think you might just, be right. Just don't let it happen again. They were watching, you know, Gone in 60 Seconds, you know, the original one, <laughs> the when original stuff one. really went down. <laughs> well, let's just get the honors done, get the bumper out of the way, so we can get these front fenders off. Because. Now that the grill's out of there, I'm kind of curious to see what all is going to play in this. Dude, I'm pretty sure it's a bumper. Just give her a little tug. Oh, yeah, it's a bumper. Is it really? Yeah, it's a bumper. Good thing, the up. good thing you got some rubber there. You would have really scuffed the paint. <laughs> she wouldn't have been. I was thinking maybe these bumper brackets came off of a gold car too, but you can see right here, check this out. This bumper isn't even the original. It says made in Canada. So I think this was just a replacement bumper. Uh, made in Canada. Here we are. Yeah, we're suspecting that that just spinning away on the back side. Uh, yeah, that's why I gave that tour to you. I got the <laughs> other two ready. I'll let me check that one. You know, when you take the uh, marker light out here, it makes a nice little peephole in the bumper. <laughs> you gotta catch people up. That side it got the bolt out and one broke off. This side is just spinny duck on it. What in the? Oh, dude. dude. <laughs> I want to step in. I almost lost my shrimp. I'm going to let you have the honors here. Take that fender off. I ain't going to get up in there. She's going to be ready. I'll stand back so I don't lose a kneecap. Now we're talking. Come on now. Come on now. Is that, that zip tie. I put a zip tie on it and mess with you. <laughs> It moved, didn't it? Oh, dude, you gotta go up because that bolt right there for that guy. Oh, he's still hooked on to some shrimp. I mean, shh. Stuff? Let me, I'll disguise it for you for just a little bit. Okay, what's going on? So I made you a taco right here. See the taco grease? Oh. Dude, whatever that old boy hit. Oh my gosh. He made it count. <laughs> Damn it. Let's wow. take a second and just appreciate the yeah that wallop. Yeah, dude, that's what I'm saying. This thing was a hit hard. And then they replaced all this stuff off of another car. Yeah. What's going on down over here? Nothing.
nothing super crazy. I'm trying to look for like buckles in the frame rail. I'm not seeing any. But I think that's probably like what they fixed up on the other side. Yeah. The thing's probably kinked hard left and they just man slice or dice her. Dude, you're gonna be an excellent, excellent welder. <laughs> when I'm done. <laughs> What, what? That is a hole that goes through the inside of the cab? Yeah. Oh, man. Here, I'll go inside. You hand me the screwdriver through that glove box. Okay. I can, no, I can totally grab it through there. You can stab your finger. Ah. I thought Texas was, like, good on cars. Dude, was like th there's two sides to Texas. <laughs> there's the east side of Texas, which is covered in green and humidity. And then there's the other side of Texas, which is bone dry. This was not in the bone dry section of Texas. Well, I'd say what it took a lot of moisture and absorbed it into this unit, so it was. Yeah, yeah. Like like I said, this thing. He he said he saw this thing sitting on a concrete pad out in a freaking field. So. Well, the back side of your door seems to be okay. It's just the curb rash. Okay, put the fender and the bumper out here. Uh, we just took off the bolts for this little chrome piece. Uh, how nice is this? Dude, for the nicest piece on the car. It's real nice. <laughs> is it? Take a look at it. It's got scratches, but it's still... Ooh. Ooh. <laughs> yeah, that was the part that tried to go in the glove box after the telephone pulled oh. the hell out of it. <laughs> okay. But, uh, yeah, you know on Christmas when you open up presents and it's an avocado? Yeah. It's not what you want. That looks nice. <laughs> Just, not the worst. Will this windshield just come out? Oh my oh, gosh, man. dude! <laughs> uh, let me grab. Let me go on the other side and help you out here. Good news. We got a fender tag on top of a mess inside here. Oh, oh. oh. oh shit! Oh. Before he ripped the car out. Oh. 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 There we go. That was very well attached. <laughs> Set this on the lawn? Uh, yeah, I'm good with that. Let it cure out in the grass. <laughs> cure? <laughs> what is with you and Randy? <laughs> Alright, yeah, go ahead and lay it, lay it down, lay it down. Okay. Windshield. Out? Oh my gosh, man. Oh, dude. Yeah, it's, it's scongy under there, dude. It's gross. You might need to find another car. <laughs> <laughs> no, no, I refuse. Did you take this thing and that other thing? <laughs> oh, dude. This game was nice. Dude, this is like almost not attached in. Oh, good grief, my guy. Jeez Louise, what the hell did I buy? <laughs> Seriously. I'm gonna go out on a limb here and say. Oh. Oh. There goes the value. Okay. <laughs> okay. Well, we're, we're gonna put that over here with the uh, fender tag. Keep those safe. Might be a slightly better shape. Your monster leaf. Yeah, it might be. Oh. It's it's close. Oh, like, so somebody's already went through and cut the floor. <laughs> yeah. So he's got a real 69 RT charger that someone cut the whole floor out. Basically just plopped the body on top of a giant, what, D100 chassis and like lifted a, it. Probably like a mid-90s 1500 Dodge. You know. Yeah. She's too a bit in here, that's for sure. Well, why don't I just show him real quick, so. There you go. Oh. That's the car. <laughs> yeah, this is... Uh... I'm going to have to look at most when I go home just to see... <laughs> How much better shape I don't, is this? Dude, I know you got more back there in the back seat area. Don't worry, I'll get it all cleaned up. Just give me like a week or two and this whole thing will look like a streamlined butterfly. Just, you know. You thought you had Bondo on it before. <laughs> dude. Body panel in a cam. I'll tell you what, your phone really picks up the different colors. Yeah. Dude, oh, huh. Well, I don't know, Look, it's weird. So this looks dark green, just like, you know, this almost looks F8, or like dark green metallic. Yep. 
Same with, uh, well, that fender. But, but then down here, or you know what? I'll bet you this is just overspray from them repainting the car. And then the rest of this, well, let's see if you can find any darker green paint anywhere else. This is all exposed down there. Looks dark on the sill. Well, I don't, dude, I don't know. Like, this is super bizarre. Because then it's like, you know, like the, the, the F or whatever lime green paint they used back then. Because this isn't the original color because it was repainted on the outside. But that's, I think that's just overspray. And then this is, yeah, I don't know. It's super bizarre. Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> like, that's weird. I don't got no answers. Say, say yeah. comment below if you know what the deal is. There is. We don't. Is that repainted? Or is that a dark green fender? Let us know. That was actually quite a bit of work to get front clip off. Yeah. But it went smoother than really expected because, you know, everything's rusted to death. Ooh, the frame rail is not so hot on this side. Let's take a look. Oh, well, that's that part you say you're going to have to cut off. Yeah, that, and then look right here, too. Oh, no, don't say that behind her. Oh. Yeah. Okay. You bought a firewall. <laughs> you bought a firewall with wheels. Dude, not very good wheels, though. They're buried. You have to no. discuss that later on. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, so I think I'm going to I think I'm gonna do what uh, my buddy Kale is doing. I don't know if you guys are familiar with uh, Kale, uh, Cam Racing, with his little thing there. Uh, but he's got a 70 Charger in basically very similar condition to this, and he bought that thing for a 1000 bucks. And that kid is a wizard with metal. So... He was going to leave his frame rails on his charger, but then he ended up just like cutting them off and making his own like drop frame rails, I guess. Like he put a couple inches into them higher so that way the car would sit lower to the ground. Oh. Pretty cool. So <laughs> he was like, dude, let me know when, when you want me to come out and help you with this thing as far as like welding goes. And I was like, yeah, sure. Hey, so <laughs> I just started like talking to him about like maybe doing the same thing that he's doing to his charger. Just zipping off the freaking frame rails and then making brand new ones. Dude, 100%, because look at this. Look through there. Oh, yeah. They. I'm yeah. pretty sure at the beginning of the day you said frame rails are solid. <laughs> no, 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 no. I said, I said the frame rails from like here back are solid. But up, up front, I knew about this when I bought the car. You said that the frame rails up front seemed a little soft. And. <laughs> A little sock. I'm wondering like, what the hell is even holding the camber on there right now. I wouldn't start pushing around too much unless you yeah. want to wear that for a hat. I also notice that the uh, the course port is like bowed out this way. You can totally like kick that back. Oh, this guy is. <laughs> bent this is. Yeah, there's a man. <laughs> oh, it's just solid. Is it really? It actually didn't move much. <laughs> Careful, you're yeah. gonna pull it off the jacks. Those little yellow units are wiggling. Oh, dude. Oh, I straightened out the bottom. Nice. Perfect. I mean, she's ready for the party. Well, let's start putting it back together. Yeah, grab the fenders. <laughs> okay. Didn't catalog the bolts with organization in mind, so might as well just call in an expert. Where's your wife? No. I don't want my wife to see this car. <laughs> Lock the doors. <laughs> like, like she, she knows this car was bad, and I showed her, I showed her how bad the car. Was, but I don't think she has any clue Dude, how bad this thing really is. Out of pocket, you know? So yeah, notice how nice and neat and symmetrical this side of the uh, cowl is. Now let's go to the other side. Ever seen like a Winnebago just sitting on the field? When you look <laughs> at the walls. This is sick. yeah. This has just been crumpled inward. That sucks. Did they try cutting it? Is that what that is? Is that like they tried cutting it and then like pulling it out or something? I would think so. I don't know. What is it? Oh, yep, that's what they good did. grief. That's what they did. That, that's so janky. Here we go. Yeah. Plop that. <laughs> okay, hold on. Hey, yo. Yeah, nice, nice easy access to the. Yeah, it could start pushing in on the vent system. Hmm. What the farmer's mother is that? Let me see your screwdriver here. Ew, what is that? What is that? 
Oh, is that what that is? Is that a snail? <laughs> okay, that's been in there since Vietnam, I'm sure. You know, I'm actually probably not wrong on that. <laughs> yeah, that's a nice little rat nest. Yeah, this is like... only you would be doing this though. Unless you want to just bond them. <laughs> no regrets, dude. I've got no regrets about my purchase. Well, at least the... Oh! I mean, there's metal under there, so... Okay. Oh. Whoops. <laughs> I don't know why I'm doing this. I, I don't just... know either. I was thinking that. Maybe, maybe just because I want to take a look at the, the dash. Oh, oh no! <laughs> Where you're going, you're going to need a new one of them. It's pretty bad when steel turns into a pile of dirt. At this point, I don't even think I need to unbolt anything. I can I think I just yeah, <laughs> pry it loose. Put your key right there. So that, that looks like a oh, thing. yeah. Look at that. Buddy, she is crusty. Oh, dude, that's... You got metal under there. Nice. <laughs> the bottom part lived. No, this is plastic. Over here. Oh, well, I mean, yeah, that. Oh, nope. <laughs> Spoke too soon. What about this guy? Is that? Yep. Another hole. Well, the fact you have any structure out of this right there, because that's actually patchable. This, <laughs> she's not patchable. Well, that thing's actually a little bit solid. You got some support to hook onto. Well, yeah. Like I said, I mean, the the sheet metal. Outside, you know, stuff is just garbage, but the actual structural stuff here is, is still strong. Now, I, I mean, like, I'm understanding, like, when people say, like, yeah, I got overwhelmed with this project car that I bought and, <laughs> you know, decided not to touch it anymore. Because this is, this is getting to that point where I'm like, oh, oh my gosh. But, not giving up, because I don't care. I will do... What is necessary to get this car back on the road? Done to this start just losing hope. Just go sit in your other car just for a little bit and breathe and go. Yeah, that one's nice. It's all hemi swapped and stuff. That little guy? Don't worry about that little guy. Yeah. But you want my thoughts on this thing? Yeah. I'm going to go home and check the Monster Lee, see how it looks. Mm -hmm. I think you might have given me a little bit of, you know, hope. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I'm just going to look at it and but this is great. Glad I didn't buy that Challenger out of Texas. Yeah, well, some moron had to, so. <laughs> hey, how you doing? I am Sid Moron. Nice to meet you, Moron. Nice to meet you, Moron. <laughs> but anyway, uh, thanks for watching, guys. Uh, part one of the teardown is... Uh, no, no, no. Mother Nature started on part one. Oh, okay. This part two. Okay, this is part two of the disassembly of the teardown. <laughs> If that works uh, with um, the tear down with a bit of a plan anyway thanks for watching uh, like comment subscribe uh, write down in the comments what you think should happen with this thing because I'm kind of at a loss for words right now but anyway thanks for watching we will see you next time